I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Westward Scania here in Strokestown, County Roscommon in Ireland. And you join me from behind the wheel of the Scania G500. Now what I'm going to do in today's video is compare this G500 to an R500. So some people have been asking me in the comments, what is the difference between both trucks? So I will show you the differences today. So yeah, we're just driving around the back of the yard. We already have the R500 parked up. So we're gonna park both trucks beside each other and show you the differences. Let's go. Okay, so we've got both trucks parked up beside each other there. And you'll immediately notice the difference between the G and the R. So the G500 on the left and the R500 on the right. So we do have a two different height cabs. So we have the high cab here on the right and the normal cab on the left. And you can get a low cab for each truck uh, if you wish as well. So they do both come in a low cab uh, form as well if you wish. But you'll notice there straight away See this sun visor on the G series, it's not painted there on top, whereas it is there on the R series. And also up on the roof, we have the, uh, the chrome air horns. And over on the G series, we have the black air horns with, ju with just that uh, cover there on the front. But uh, yeah, see the difference in grills as well. So we have a higher grill on the R series and a lower grill on the G series. And also we don't have the spotlights there on the G series. So yeah, you can immediately notice the differences and obviously no painted mirrors or bumpers on the G series and also the side skirts are not painted and the rear mud guards are not painted on the G series. Now this particular G series is uh, a high standard finish on the interior so you can get an even more basic one if you wish. But the average price difference between the G and the R is a three to five thousand euro uh, depending on specification so yeah you might want to just check with your Scania dealer about specifications when you're uh, specifying your um, G series but that's just in behind the grill of the G500 and I'm just gonna move over here I have them already opened uh, unlocked but there you have it the difference between your R500 and your G500 okay I'm just gonna move quickly around the rear just to show you the, uh, the mud guards, not painted of course, and over there on the R, all painted up. So yeah, it just depends what sort of finish you want on your G series. And if I come here to the back axle, now when Scania brought out the new generation of trucks, they have a new procedure for sealing the wires. It's known as IP67. So they did move an awful lot of the wiring that was inside in the cab and moved it here to the rear axle for quicker reaction times and for easier maintenance. maintenance. So yeah, if you ever had any frayed wires or problems with wiring, it's just easier to maintain them back here as opposed to looking for a bunch of wires in the cab. So just a relocation of an awful lot of the wiring has been brought back to the back axle. So just another detail that Scania made when they were improving uh, these trucks for the new generation. But uh, yeah, if I come over here, we have Two fuel tanks, we have a 540 litre fuel tank and a 320 litre uh, fuel tank on both trucks. So that is not different in either way to both trucks. Catwalk finish, exactly the same on both trucks. But what is different is, have a look at the uh, catwalk light there, right? So we have just a normal catwalk light on that. And then this one over here is orange. So uh, I don't really know why there's a difference there, but there you have it, the difference between the R and the G. Uh, maybe there are Gs with orange catwalk lights, but that's just something I noticed. And uh, yeah, your fifth wheel there by Just. Oh, what have we got over there as well? Another R series parked up there, the low loader trailer. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open up both doors just to give you uh, a look at the difference in the height. So uh, if I just open up, both of them there beside each other. And you can notice it there straight away. Now, obviously this is all painted in the R series as well, but 
you see straight away the difference in height climbing into both cabs. So let's just close that up. And I'm going to give you a quick look at the locker here, just in the side, so you can immediately notice the difference in uh, the size of the compartments. And we have an equally as big one on the R-Series on the far side. So uh, yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm just going to uh, hop into the R-Series now, and uh, then we will hop into the G-Series, just to give you a look. So uh, yeah, we have the leather and the white stitching. Now, you'll notice as well that we have more space underneath the R-Series than the G-Series. So you'll notice that when I hop into the G-Series. And we also have bigger lockers on the R-Series, and they're bigger above the windscreen also. So uh, yeah, and we have this wood finish on the dashboard. See the wood inserts on the R-Series. Now you can get those wood inserts on the G-Series if you wish. So uh, yeah, when you sit in on uh, the driver's seat on both trucks, they are pretty much identical. Now of course the G-Series, some models won't come with satellite navigation. We have satellite navigation here, your, uh, your media slots and your SD card slot for your satellite navigation. But uh, yeah, they're pretty much identical. So um, actually, I'll start up the R-Series here and we, we'll let you hear what the engine sounds like. Okay, let's give it a couple of revs here. Okay, there you go. Now, okay, I'm just gonna hop quickly over to the G-Series and uh, I'll let you know what that's like inside. So let me just hop back outside. Now, both trucks do have remote locking. So that is available on both trucks. And of course we have our remote control there for our back axle. And they both have the OptiCruise gearbox. So the 12 speed OptiCruise gearbox uh, with no clutch pedal. So uh, let's just quickly run over to the uh, G-Series and hop inside and give you a look. Uh, yeah, so as I said, it is lower here and we have the uh, heated and cooled seats, also with the leather pack. So let's open that up. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than the R-Series. And uh, yeah, you can notice that straight away. Now we have all our towing equipment in behind that little compartment there as well. And yeah, so we still have three steps leading up into the cab. And uh, yeah, it's so much more lower. So it's easier to climb in and out of the G-Series. Uh, the R-Series will be up around here for the footwell area. And straight away, you'll notice the engine tunnel there. It just uh, comes into the cabin more. So uh, yeah, you're kind of losing more space in the cabin in the G-Series. So the R-Series will be up around here for the engine tunnel. Now this is a high spec. G-Series, so you do have some more creature comforts in this truck. And you see the lockers there? Straight away noticeable that they are smaller. And we have a fridge underneath here as well. So we also have a fridge and a storage compartment on the R-Series. But that is just one fridge unit underneath the bunk. So yeah, you would have less height um, standing up in this cab. So I'm six foot two, and when I stand in the foot well here, my head is brushing up against the roof. So you might want to think about that when you're uh, specifying your G. So let's quickly give this one a start up. Um, it will sound exactly the same, guys. <laughs> Both the very same size engines. Now we do have 2,550 Newton meters of torque. Okay, there you have it. Okay, so that is more or less the difference between the G500 and the R500. Just thought I'd do a short video just letting you know the difference between both. Now guys, I have a bit of a surprise for you all. Now you wouldn't have seen this coming in this video, but I am on my way to a secret location now to see one of Ireland's, if not Ireland's biggest model truck collection. It's in a private location and I have been given a very kind invitation to go in and view this model collection. So let's head over, have a look, and then we'll be back to Westward Scania because I have something else to show you from Westward. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've made it here to the model truck collection. 
Guys, you're not going to believe what's on display. It's absolutely incredible. So I have been given exclusive access to show this to you. So yeah, if any of you do know where this location is, please do not say it in the comments, okay? Keep it a secret. So um, yeah, I'm going to share with you exactly what's around here. Guys, you're not going to believe it. And this is just one room. There are three more full of trucks. So let's have a look. Okay, guys, I'll try and show you as many as I can in as short a time I can, but we've got the Volvo FH there, the cattle truck, and down there we have the Sino, and look, we've got an old, that is a Burliet, a Burliet truck? I thought it was a Ford uh, Transcontinental when I saw it first, but it's a Burliet. And over here we have another Burliet, and we have the Strater, the Iveco Strater, the Guinness truck, very nice model that. We have the Scania 111, it's just, Guys, this is just unreal. Um, we have the cattle truck there, another container truck, the Scania R series, and look at the old Hino truck. Man, it's just wall to wall, full of model trucks. We've got the old uh, DAF up there against the wall. We've got more DAF, another DAF. We've got the Scania there, and the Volvo FH. Man, it's just unreal. And the detail in some of the models. <laughs> Lucy Transport there, look. And look, down here as well, we have Spa Transport from Ennis. Uh, what else have we got? Just going around as quickly as I can. We've got the old Scania there. Uh, <laughs> look, another one there. Uh, the Actros there. Uh, down here we have the Rigid and Drag. Another Scania. Uh, what else can I show you? It's just, <laughs> there's just so much to show you guys. It's just unreal. Look. And then if, if I swing over here, just look at some of these models here. The, the detail. And look, we have the Scania there, the T-Cab. Another Scania R-Series. The Volvo FH. Another R-Series Scania. <laughs> Uh, th this collection, guys, I've never seen anything like this. It's just unbelievable. Uh, look at the... Old <laughs> we've got the Magnum there, FH. And we've got the Renault Premium. Let's swing over here then. We have the S-Series Scania. Oh, man. It's just, just let me walk down through <laughs> these as well, look. Huh? And what else can I show you up here? More R-Series. Just a big long line of them. Uh, oh yes, down here as well, uh, we have Iggy Madden Transport. And down here as well, this is based on an actual real life truck. The T-Cab Scania. Fabulous detail on that. Really like it. And there was a great sound off that truck as well when it was pulling out of the big warehouse at Punchestown. And up here as well, we've got all the classic DAFs. Oh. <laughs> and the Volvos as well. Oh, guys, it's just unreal. Okay, this is just one room, guys. Let's go in and just show you quickly another room here. Okay, room two, we've got the classic American truck, the Freightliner. We then move down to the Renault Magnum. So we've got a bunch of them lined up. And down here, look at the old ERFs. And the old Bedford truck, <laughs> man, it's just incredible. The FH cement truck and all lined up down here, all the trucks. Let me swing over here and show you the McAuliffe trucks. So they are based in County Kerry. He has two of their models looking great. And up there as well, it's just, it's hard to pick them out, guys. Which ones do I pick out and show you close up? <laughs> man, it's a Lego truck and all there, look. But, uh... Yeah, it's just, I love it, I love it. <laughs> but uh, look what we have as well, the old Rosenbauer, the 8x8, look. So you'll remember in Shannon Airport, I videoed one of these. Shannon Airport's one was a 6x6. There you have the uh, the 8x8 model. He's got a bunch of American trucks here as well. And all down there. Okay, that is room two. Let's quickly move into room three. Okay, let's have a walk around room number three. We have the Scania R-Series, the tanker truck, looking fantastic. We have Ken Thomas in the old FH, and we have a Scottish 
freight company here, Andrew Wishard, and another American truck. But uh, just look, guys, have a look around. There's just hundreds and hundreds of models. So this is the third room, just one last room to show you. Uh, we've got the Iveco Stralis there as well. More models down there, <laughs> more behind me. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. We've got the, uh, the guide truck there. We've got an old AEC. And we have the Leyland truck. Real classic. But uh, wait until you see this, what's in here, guys. This is like a model of, an, of a garage. So, uh, and I've got an even better one to show you in the last room. But just to give you an idea of the detail, just look at the detail. Look, all the garage equipment. <laughs> and look, the pit and all. Look. Even the oil that collects the old oil. That's just fantastic. But I have an even more detailed one to show you in the final room. So we will head in there now and just give you a look at that. But yeah, okay, let's head into the last room, guys. So I think you get the message now that yes, this model collection is just huge. Just hundreds and hundreds of models to look around. But uh, yeah, it's been a privilege coming here today just to look at them all. The Scammel and another Scania there. Look at the dirt and all, the detail of the dirt. Uh, the old uh, Dukes truck, Dukes transport, but yeah, Mulgrew as well from Northern Ireland. But uh, yeah, I really loved it today, but this, this has to be what I end with, guys. Just look at the detail in the garage. <laughs> this is just, let, let me just zoom in here and just show you on the back wall there. Just look, look at the axle there. And the model man there just working on it. And uh, this, is, this lift actually works. So I can switch it on. Just watch this, watch. It actually works. It's dropping down there at the moment. Um, and the MAN there. Look at the pit. Look at the detail on the floor. Look, even the stains on the floor. <laughs> and the lights inside. I've, I've never seen anything like this before, guys, in such detail. So uh, this has to be the, the best piece so far. Um, yeah, this has blown me away. Like, and this is a rolling road as well. So I think I can turn that on, possibly. Yeah, I think that actually rolls. So <laughs> and look up here as well, look. This is the, uh, the canteen. <laughs> and we've got even the shower and the toilet. And there's even somebody sitting on the toilet. And... Um, Another washroom there as well. Wow, I love that piece now. That is a real, real collectible piece. But uh, roll on five o'clock, it says there as well. But that has to be the best part of the whole collection, guys. I love it. So I'm sure you'll agree, guys, it's an absolutely incredible collection. For one owner to have all these, it really is fantastic. So well done to him in collecting so many model trucks. <laughs> just unbelievable but guys he has 1430 trucks in this collection and it's still growing so do you guys know of anyone else in the whole island of ireland that has as many trucks as this i don't so uh yeah maybe you can let me know is there anyone else that has a bigger collection but i doubt it <laughs> but anyway so a huge thanks to the owner, of course, for having me here today. So now we're going to make our way back over to Westward Scania. I have something else to show you over there. Let's go. Okay, so we're now back at Westward Scania. Now I just have one more truck to show you guys, and that is the crew cab. So you'll remember the last time I was up here at Westward Scania, I showed you the fire engine, but I never got a chance to hop inside it. But we'll hop into the crew cab because this will be a fire engine at some point. So let's hop in and have a look. And uh, we have the S500 there beside it. Nicely finished in red. Yeah, let's have a look at the crew cab, guys. Okay, just a quick look around the P320 crew cab before we finish up with today's video. But look, look at the height difference between the S500 there and the crew cab. Crew cab is so much lower, but this one has an awful lot of space in the back, guys. So uh, yeah, it's remote locking, so just a double click opens up the back door. And uh, yeah, you'll notice the yellow handles there. So you'll be able to see them easily at night. 
just hopping in into the crew cab so yeah very easy to climb inside here uh, it's even a bit echoey in here hey <laughs> yeah it's a bit echoey uh, with all the space but uh, yeah so this will all be kitted out at some stage by KPMP fire uh, they will do all the uh, the work on this truck but uh, yeah it's quite unusual stepping in here with so much space in the back can you imagine if you had this as a normal truck and just had a bunk back here <laughs> you'd have a mountain of space wouldn't you but uh, yeah so this has an auto box as well so it's just uh, you see there reverse drive and neutral so we don't have any clutch pedal either uh, yeah so it's a bit basic in here we don't have any infotainment screen but uh, that is your fire engine spec on the P series and yeah it is a bit low the cab on these all right just have a storage area there as well and the yellow handles for climbing in and out of very good yeah so that was just a quick look around the uh, the crew cab now let me just hop out here uh, very easy to hop out um, I'm just going to open up the driver's door there because it's even lower than the G series so we've only two steps here hopping up onto the P series so yeah it's even lower to hop up onto than the G series so the P320 still waiting for its body to be fitted so I'll just quickly just show you that fire engine again uh, the finished one over across the yard so this is eventually what the fire engine will look like when it's all finished so yeah, it does look quite well, doesn't it? And I showed you the last time I was up as well. We have our water level there and our foam level. You can monitor them from the outside. But uh, yeah, it does look quite well now. I really like that. Let's just quickly show you the front before we uh, finish up. And we even have the low profile uh, beacons there on the roof as well. You'll see there if I uh, just zoom quickly up into the roof. Yeah, they are nice and slick in design, aren't they? But yeah, I kind of like that. The P320 fire engine. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up today from Westward Scania here in Strokestown, County Roscommon in Ireland. I really enjoyed my day here today, looking around the G-Series, comparing it to the R-Series, and then checking out the crew cab, and then the model truck collection. Guys, is there anyone in the whole of Ireland that has a bigger collection? I seriously doubt it, but maybe you guys know. Is there? I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you all there. I had a great time. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, Take care and thanks for watching. Cheers! The R500 and the G5. G on the left. This hair, I can't control it at all, man. Okay, so we're now back here at Westward Scania. We have the G500 there. R500.